According to reports, TV's Arrow star Stephen Amell has landed the role of Casey Jones in the upcoming sequel to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Casey is, he ho- Casey is a hockey mask-wearing vigilante who eventually becomes an ally of the Turtles and a love interest for April O'Neil. Dennis, what do you think about Stephen Amell as Casey Jones? I think it could be a good fit. When I heard it yesterday, it wasn't one of those things where I was like, oh my God, he's a perfect fit. Or this is so terrible, mankind should weep type of <laughs> casting. Suit, <laughs> which, you know, some people do. That's yes. like Ben Affleck. Mankind like people should weep. Um, but I, I think it, I, from what I've seen of Stephen Amell, I've seen the first half of the first season of Arrow. So I don't know how dark his character actually gets because Casey Jones kind of has an edge to him. He's kind of cocky. He's kind of, you know, kind of a you know, more the, along the lines of Raphael, of right. the TMNT. And so I haven't really seen that from Stephen Amell yet, but maybe it's because I haven't watched further enough in Arrow. But I think he could be a good fit. I think he has the look for it. He is much uh, more of a pretty boy than, uh, what was it, Elias Cotier, oh, the guy yeah, who played yeah, yeah, him yeah. in the, yeah, first, the first, one. first one. I always call him like fake Robert De Niro because he kind of <laughs> looks like him. Um, but he he was more of like, you know, kind of a edgier guy. And Stephen Amell's more of a pretty boy, but I, I think he could pull it off. Christian? Yeah, I, I think so too. There was a there was a show on HBO that went for like two or three seasons um, with Thomas Shane Hung. And Steve, that was the first time I ever saw Stephen Mill. He actually does have that side. Okay. He's able to do that sarcastic, he played like a con man in the beginning of it. And so I would like to see him play Casey Jones. I think that he could. I saw some people upset about it. Then I saw the people who were embracing it. I have watched one episode of Arrow, so I haven't seen a lot of him, but I know that he's got charisma. Um, I think that. I didn't love the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, and I think by adding someone with, with his charisma, and he's got to make Megan Fox better for God's sake. So let's see. What <laughs> oh, so you you didn't like the one that just came out? Or you're talking about the first original? Oh, I original. love the original. Okay, oh, of course, of course. Yeah. Eight, the 1990 version. Yeah, yeah I love that one. TMNT Power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm one of these guys that I was so surprised that I liked the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I thought, I, I mean, I trash talked that movie for like six months before it came out and then i walked in that's why you got to keep an open mind when you go into these films like i I, trash talk because it did look bad it did look bad i still stand by the fact that it looked bad but i went in and it was pretty good i liked it i had a good time with it megan fox notwithstanding um i'm in a weird position with this story because i know stephen amell um and here's and i was a big fan of arrow um I, I don't know how good friend Stephen Amell and I are now because I gave up on his show because it totally <laughs> went to garbage. Uh, I love the first two seasons of Arrow. I love the first two seasons of Arrow. And then I gave up on it about halfway through season three. It just kind of went in a totally ridiculous re- direction. The, the, the writers kind of lost their way and it became a, a rather bad show. That being said, I have one of the things that I re- reasons I got mad about Arrow becoming a bad TV show was because I think Stephen Amell is so good. <laughs> Like when, and especially when you watch him in the first season of Arrow, you see a guy who's this is his first time trying to carry, you know, whether it's a movie or a TV show on his shoulders as a lead guy, and it showed. But by the end of season one, it's like this guy's getting actually quite good. And then by the time you get into the end of season two, it's like this guy has completely now evolved. Where to a lot of people out there, he is Green Arrow. I mean, he's that good, and he does have that side. I know you haven't seen season yeah. two, but he does have that dark side. He has that edge. He has. He has all that type of stuff that you need. He's also got the physique and he's got all that kind of stuff. And I believe as an actor, he's a guy who just got better and better and better and better. And I was worried as a fan of Stephen Amell that that show had gotten so bad it was going to like completely submarine any chance he had mm-hmm. of having a career outside of it. And so I was really, really, really excited to see that he got this role. Because I, even though I gave up on Arrow, I am a massive fan of Stephen Amell. I think he's a he's he's evolving into a great actor. And I think this is a great role for him. So for me, I'm just really excited do, about do it. Do you think this could be like a breakout role for him uh, for movies? <sighs> it, it's... It's an iconic role. I mean, at least amongst yeah. the teenagers. Yeah, for amongst the, tur- the, yeah. the, the, the turds, amongst the nerds. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of amongst turds. A, amongst those of us who are nerds, it could be. I mean, look, if, if he nails it and completely nails it and gives us a memorable character, because there were no memorable human characters in the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. As much as I like the movie, mm-hmm. there were no memorable human characters in that. If he could become a memorable character, really own it, and win people over with it, then I believe we're just getting started with Stephen Amell being an on-screen action star. I, I, I really, really do. I think he, I think he's that level. Is he a Christian Bale? No, not yet. But I think he could be. We could also get 
something special from this second movie. This this second movie, uh, like even though I didn't like the first one, could evolve into something special because the, look at they replaced the director. David Green is a guy with Earth to Echo, and now having his hand in this beloved franchise, if he he also has a yeah. lot to prove here. So he really does. And Amel together, this they could revamp. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles into something that not only some people had fun with, but some people who didn't like the movie when it, would meet on the same page and go, look, you might have loved the first one, I might have hated it, but we can both agree that that second one was a lot more fun and more special than the first. Okay, That's they, what I'm hoping for. They'll, they'll make it just for you. That's what I hope. <laughs> just for you. Just for me. That's all I need them to do. That's it. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.